Day two in Sarawak, and it's off to a rough start. Allow me to explain a bit. Uh, so, what do you think would be a good time, a fair time for housekeeping, for cleaning staff to come and start vacuuming, start using a vacuum? Probably 11 a.m., you know, something like that. 11, 11.30 would be good, right? Well, here, uh, here they come at 8 a.m. And they begin vacuuming in the hallway and they begin vacuuming the unit next door with the door open. And so I woke up and in kind of a shock, like, what is going on here? And I, you know, I come to the door, come to the door, open the door. And like, I, you know, I start to like, almost like peek into the, the neighbor's um, door. Cause I feel like I want to say something to the cleaning staff or at least let them know that they woke me up and the door slams shut. <laughs> Uh, and like they just keep vacuuming. So that was my morning. I, I go to bed at five. I, I can't go to sleep till five in the morning. So I'm on three hours of sleep. You know, yesterday morning, I flew here from Saba early morning. Also slept about three hours yesterday. So uh, I may be off today, folks. I may not be in prime focus mode. So I'm gonna need, some, cut me some slack today. I need it. But um, it's all right. Otherwise, I feel pretty okay. Given the circumstances, pretty okay. Um, been researching, actually, like things to do, what I'm going to be doing here for the videos. Um, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the good stuff to do, just like Saba, uh, is kind of expensive. Um, all the tours, you know, going to visit longhouses and uh, going to like the really nice, beautiful national parks, stuff like this it's a lot of money it's like minimum like 60 70 us dollars up to 150 us dollars depending on what you really want to do so i'm not going to do any of that stuff it's not happening you know it's the cheapest thing i could find um that's like a, a real excursion would be going to see orangutans um and the cheapest would be like 40 us dollars I'm gonna consider that. I'm gonna see if I can at least do that while I'm here. Otherwise, um, there is some other things that I wanna see and do um, that are free or cheap. And so, yeah, folks, we're doing the budget itinerary here in Kuching. And that's just how it has to be for now. Uh, but don't worry, you know, I will always come back and visit again. Hopefully when I have more money, when I'm making more money from the channel and like can actually yeah do those things without spending 10% of my bank account. <laughs> so yeah, today we're gonna go out and do some of those those things. I, the Sarawak um, Museum, I, I believe it's called. It looks pretty awesome actually. Um, and there's like three or four more things that I have in my notes. And so yeah, don't worry, the, the videos will still be good, but I just want you to know why you know, maybe I'm not doing certain things that you might think, oh, you're in Borneo. Why aren't you doing this? Or why aren't you going to that island or this? Well, it's budgeting, but uh, yeah. So now that you're all caught up, um, we're gonna head out. Now it's around 2 p.m. I've been on the computer doing some editing. I'm finally getting the vlog up. Uh, there's some days went where I, I couldn't get the vlog up because of the internet but I'm getting better phone service here in Kuching than I was in um, Saba. Much faster mobile speeds, so I can just use that to upload the YouTube videos, I've come to realize. Um, so we've got to sort it out, but yeah, let's go and uh, get outside a little bit. I think it will help me feel much better too. So this is Padang Merdeka. Came over here last night, but I literally couldn't see anything. It's just like threw in a clip at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, this is where the Borneo Culture Museum is as well, right here. Crazy building. Uh, and I had a few people tell me that it's really worth visiting, so we're definitely gonna go there. Um, you know what, let's go there now. I'm gonna see like what's the entry fee and probably just like go in. I mean, I'm gonna go in no matter what, but I, yeah, since we're here and I wanna go to a few places that are a bit further, yeah, I think we should just go. I don't know. This almost looks like it would lead to a, a subway, you know, like a, a train system. So good chance that's what that is. You guys just have to ignore how little I really know about the place. 
just accept it, you know. Uh, I'm doing the best that I can. <laughs> um, yeah, so this place was actually recommended to me by uh, someone I met in uh, the condo building I'm in. And I did see it a bit online too, people saying it was really cool. So it's pretty new. It's also this like really awesome walkway here. Uh, I'm gonna just go here since we're already over here. Quite a grand entrance if you ask me. Uh, that is like a mall over there. That's where I did some grocery shopping yesterday. Nothing crazy in terms of malls. It's not not even worth like vlogging as a mall, you know. I'll only really vlog malls when they're really cool to me. Um, but it is nice to have, there is a good food store in there, Ever Rise. You know, it's like a chain. Same one that I was going to in Saba. Uh, then if you saw on the end of the vlog yesterday, I found like a proper butcher and I literally bought three kilos of strip loin steaks. So should be set on food uh, a bit. Unfortunately, can't try any of the local cuisine here because it goes against all of my allergies. Uh, so no laksa, you know, it's not happening, but. Nice little area here. Very nice. Ooh, we have like a cool like totem statue. That's cool. And the building itself is pretty crazy. Borneo Cultures Museum. All right, let's see what this place is about, huh? Please use the main entrance at level one. Okay, so that confirms the entrance we'll be using. <laughs> I acted as if I had a real choice. So opening hours, let's see, 9 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. And last admission is at 4 p.m. So we're good now. It's, it's actually around 2.45, so good timing finally mustered up the energy to get out of the house at 2.45 p.m. And I finally got the Saba Kota Kinabalu um, first impressions vlog up after much internet troubles. Okay, so I actually do have to go down these stairs. Um, yeah. Uh, we went over there yesterday in the um, Kuching first impressions video. Nice little spot here. Definitely a lot of history in this spot. You know, the history of which I do not know, but surely there is a lot. So from now on, I will be listing the top 10 supporters in every video on screen and down below as well. So if you do want to support the channel, because I'm now doing videos every other day instead of every day. Um, so I've cut my income in half for YouTube. Um, to keep up the quality and keep up the ideas, keep things fresh. Um, I think every other day is, is better. Um, but yeah, I make literally half the money. So to encourage people to support, you know, um, I'm listing the top 10 supporters and um, I'll be plugging the links a little bit more. So yeah, check down in the description. Just buy me a coffee link, PayPal link. You can leave a super thanks donation. This goes towards my accommodations, my flights, uh, my food. And so yeah, it's going to help a lot. It will help me keep making videos, improving the videos. Um, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Um, if you can't support, no worries. Um, just support by subscribing and liking the videos. Also very helpful. Uh, but let's check out the Culture Museum. Now that I'm done plugging away. I assume they will allow filming or they will tell me if not. Um, Oh, there is a little shop. Let's let's start in the shop, shall we? Nice. Might actually be some cool stuff in here. Some bags. Hello. Hi. Can I film in here and in the in the museum? Is it okay to film? Okay. All right. Thank you. Bags. Very cool. Handmade, I would imagine. Hmm. Looks like a hat. Hmm. Oh, 
Ooh, that's cool. Maybe if I had a apartment, <laughs> I would put something like that in there. Stuff like this too, pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. Wow. Some cool stuff. I like it. A lot of bags. Predominantly bags, I would say. Some books here. Hats. I don't know if I can pull off these hats, to be quite honest with you. Nice. Oh, these are so cool, these lights. I wonder if those are for sale. Those are very cool. I wouldn't mind putting those in my, my house, my non-existent house. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I thought the shop continued, but it's a, it's a mirror. Wow, okay. I was about to walk into the mirror. All right, let's go um, check out the admission. I think we need to register. I think it says like, if you're a non Sarawakian, then registration for foreigners only. Proceed to ticket counter, okay. Let's see here. Let's see the prices. Hi, how are you? Foreigner, adult 50 ringgit, okay. 50 ringgit, yeah? Okay, okay. All right, and we have made it. Had a little bit of um, problems there because the system is down, and they also wanted identification, and I don't, I don't have any ID on me, and so it was a little bit uh, tricky. But we got in. Not sure where to go. Um, there's nothing over here. Let's see, maybe this way. Oh wait, I think, I think this way. Actually, I don't know. Let me just ask them. Uh, this way. Ah, okay, okay, thanks. All right. Always confused. All right, I mean, it makes sense. Gallery starts here. I just didn't know if um, gallery meant, you know, the whole thing. So, all right. <laughs> I also have a restaurant here which actually looks quite nice. A lot of people drinking coffee and eating. Coffee sounds very good right about now. I haven't had coffee. Last time I had coffee was in Penang like several months ago and it was incredible. But I don't typically drink coffee or consume caffeine at all. I'm trying to keep it that way, but we will see, right? We'll see. Okay, let's see. Children's gallery to the left. So we don't need to go left. Right would be arts and crafts galleries is up um okay let's uh arts and crafts to the right so i mean let's see where does it where does it mean exactly this place is a little bit um i don't want to say it's confusing but okay arts and crafts no entry that's probably for like um specific you know little classes or stuff like that like group classes or maybe there's like specific times you know so okay so let's go upstairs to the galleries <laughs> uh, so i guess when you come in just go up you know pay and then go up the escalators that's uh, good to know good to know hey that's why i'm here helping helping the folks out doing the dirty work here Get some good views from here very cool architecture in this building so I asked her when the building was um, opened, like when it was, when this place opened, it's 2022. So two years ago. Um, okay, so we have a permanent gallery in harmony with nature, coastal, rainforest, highlands, and a museum education room. Um, maybe this way? Yeah, this way. This is the In Harmony with Nature gallery. I'm trying not to be too loud. Right. OK. 
Okay. Main rivers of Sarawak. Interesting, that's cool. A little bit dark in here. But at least we have some, you know, ambient lighting going on, which is nice. This is cool. It's a carved door, the Badayu curved door. Oh, that'd be so sick to have like somewhere in a home, some kind of engravings like that. That's incredible. Wow. Thankfully that light has given us some, some nice light for the video. <laughs> the coasts. We have some traditional houses here. Wow. those are. Oh, it tells you below. Number five. Um, sook. Fishing fetishes. Carved out of bones and antler horns. They used to use them during fishing to guard the lines. Wow, okay. That's cool. Additional plates, pots, we got drums here. Traditional marriage customs. Hmm. Jejuk. I'm definitely saying that wrong. Traditional marriage custom. The bride will have her right foot soaked with water by a woman of high self-esteem. That's interesting. <laughs> crocodile. I still want to see a real crocodile while I'm here. <laughs> I have not seen one yet. Oh, this kind of stuff I'm into. Very cool. Another crocodile here. Let's see the next room actually. Wait, this room's a lot bigger than I than I thought. Some containers here. Hmm. Made of brass. Those are cool. A lot of artwork as well on the walls here. photos too that's cool how they combine the photos and the uh, the art pieces hmm. those are great those are nice some natural sweetener palm sap right yeah palm sap So 
some more jars, mostly like storage containers, storage jars. That's cool. Really well laid out. Right, let's check the next room here. The rainforest. Life in a long house. So the long house represents a village, usually named after nearby rivers. That I did not know. Eight to 10 meters above the ground. Mostly for security purposes. Hmm, interesting. Oh, these look like weapons. Yeah, some weaponry. Those aren't weapons. Those are for, those look like they're for rowing. It does tell you what things are. There's just so many different ones. Yes, yeah, he paddles. <laughs> those are all paddles. See, I know what I'm talking about, folks. <laughs> Those are great. Ooh, swords. An owl. Owls are such wild creatures to look at. Like, if you look at a real owl in the eyes, I mean, it's like terrifying. This is a cool bird, wow. They're not real, by the way, not real. But, oh, the banded kingfisher. So many different types of kingfishers here. Scarlet rumped tragon. Ooh, bad hawk. <laughs> Look at this tiny bird. Native trees. Borneo has many valuable trees, in particular the Belian and Tapang trees. Trees are essential for life in Borneo, both in practical and spiritual terms. In traditional spiritual beliefs, the tree of life concept is well known in Borneo. It tells the story of human origins. The concept included the upper world and the underworld. Interesting. It's illustrated in mural paintings and longhouses. huge mallet <laughs> different types of tools pretty much handcrafted tools for different things multi-purpose tools and giant saw which that's something you would literally see in a horror movie spoons I need to stop touching the glass like an idiot <laughs> <laughs> drinking bowl. Wow. I mean, yeah, drinking bowl? That's crazy. It almost looks like a drinking bowl for, like, animals or, like, a dog or something, but just because it's on the ground, you know. Different times, different culture. Ritualistic objects. Looks like different types of stones, you know, rocks, traditional outfits. Wow, the 
that's cool. Let's see, what is that exactly? House Post Guardian. This figure has many human hanging on the lower back. Some different figures. Wow, oh, what's this? Again, I'm touching the glass. <laughs> oh my god. Also cool. I feel like we can actually see this better from the other side here. Belly and house post. Head hunting. Head hunting. Those who were once our enemies hereby become our guardians, our friends, our benefactors. Wow, huge spears. Oh my. <laughs> Feels very tribal. Warfare, yeah, so this is some gruesome stuff. Ooh, wow. It's a giant hut, giant wooden hut in the middle of the museum. Baruch. Jewelry. Necklaces. So this is a gong. Doing. Another necklace, some hats. Wow, massive totems. Let's go around so we can see it a bit better. sure what that is. This is really nice, nice vase. It's actually quite hard to see with the lighting, unfortunately, but there's some very cool artwork on that vase. The afterlife. Hmm, complex belief systems that go with death and funerals. People in Borneo practice both primary and secondary burials. Burial huts and poles honor the deceased in societies with social strata. Slaves are either killed or left to die at the burial ground. Yeah, you can see it much better over here. Very cool figures. I'm very much into those figures. A couple things do say under maintenance, including this. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's under maintenance, so. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> That's very cool. It stays a little bit slower paced than what we're used to on the channel. 
I hope you're enjoying something a little bit different. You know, something a little cultural, more chill. Gawai Kenya Lang. Gawai Kenya Lang. There's actually no English description for that one, so I'm not sure about the translation. Some more plates. Some trays, some brass trays. young woman smears a man of her rank with blood from a chicken sacrificed over the ancestral stones. Very ritualistic. Crazy. That's very cool. <laughs> Some ornaments. The hornbill. It's an iconic bird here in Borneo. Feathers. Life in the rainforest. Oh, check that out. Wild boar. Whoa, that is absolutely crazy. It's actually a bearded pig. <laughs> oh, those are amazing. Oh, that is so cool. Really up my alley with the art style. Oh, so so similar to a wild boar, unless it's like a different name for it or, or species, but a bearded pig. I like that one. Rainforest uh, life. They're hummus harvesting palm fronds, building a hut. They make it look easy. <laughs> Definitely not. These are great. Guardians of the Patty. It's actually quite a big gallery. Let's see, let's check our time. One, two, three. It's uh, 3.20 p.m. I believe she said it's done at 4 p.m. You have to be, oh no, 4.30 p.m., that's right. Last admission, uh, 4 p.m. So we're doing okay on time. Living in the Highlands. Nice. 
was hoping to see some animal stuff, some like, yeah, some good depictions of wildlife. Oh. Looks like a little rat. <laughs> Bamboo containers. Wow. This is so well constructed here. This I'd imagine is hand painted. Yeah, it's like pottery made with clay. Well, not necessarily. I think of pottery, I think of clay. It doesn't have to be clay. Some more tools that look like you could absolutely murder somebody with. <laughs> iron tools. People use iron tools, they're universal, various kind of gardening and gathering. Okay, so yeah, those are not death weapons, necessarily. Now, I'm sure people have been killed using those gardening tools, but that is not the primary purpose. So forcing some animals into slave labor. Carrying your stuff for you. Rice field um, hats. Protect yourself from the sun. Some woven uh, baskets. Dogs? Festival and leisure items. I want to make sure I get through everything, so I'm gonna try and go at a, at a better pace, you know. I don't want the video to be two hours long as well. But I also would like to see everything as much as I can. Highlands longhouse structure. This is the last room of this place here. It's like a full screen, uh, you know, almost like a, not 3D, but whatever. So this is on the fourth floor. It's called Time Changes. It's Cave Discoveries and Borneo and Empires. That's what it says. Time Changes. Human bone. Cave discoveries. Archaeological stuff. Different tools. Bone tools. Wow. Again, something you would see in a Saw movie. 
prehistoric extinct animals. Oh, imagine seeing one of those in the wild. I mean, you're not going to since they're extinct, but. That's what happens when you kill off a population of animal. Shells and animal bones. I mean, I understand you, you know, you, you kind of had to, or, you know, they used them for tools and for food, so, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but. More bones, different bones. Looks like some diaries. They're like different field work records. Different excavation sites. can't sit down and watch the whole videos unfortunately then I would be here much longer if I had the full day and if I wasn't recording a video then I would I would just take it all in you know these are cool very cool this area is quite dark as it's a cave Hopefully you can see a little bit in here. I've actually never been to a real cave before. Cave paintings. What is this? <laughs> I thought that meant tap for English. different engravings. <laughs> Painted cave. <laughs> Terracotta objects. Oh, look at that. Headless Buddha. Some Hindu Buddhism stuff here. Ganesha. Also Ganesha. Different objects, bead, gold objects. Those are gold, I guess. Yeah. Such an interesting museum. Also, really nice design. They really, uh, they really did a good job on this place. Reminds me of the Natural History Museum um, in New York, which has opened not that long ago. Like, there's a newer history museum that's really, really crazy. You know, kind of, kind of reminds me of that a little bit in the way that it's this place is designed, because they're both very new. So it feels, you know, it feels very new. Well, what's this? 
Chinese coins. Hmm, wait, is there a, is there just a gallery on the other side as well? Looks like it. Oh wow, okay, I would have went right upstairs. Does that mean there was a, another gallery on the floor below that we, that we missed? Or I think it was just maybe, yeah, this is like a continuation. Okay. Wow, if I wouldn't have, yeah, I don't know why. I thought it, would, it went all the way around. Felt like we exited on the opposite side, but. Yeah, we definitely were not in here. Cannons. Brass cannon. Who's this guy? James Brook. Hmm. The first Raja of Sarawak, Raja. Nice model. Fort Alice in Syria, Amman. That's cool. Tobacco box. Keep my cannabis in there. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bali Jawa. This is great. I want this one in my house. Oh, Sarawak passport. I need one of those. <laughs> Keep me in Malaysia. <laughs> it's an herbs cutter. Cool lights. Really creates an atmosphere in here. The lighting is really nice in here, actually. All around. Dark, dimly lit, and then like lit up where it kind of needs to be, where you actually look at things. You can tell already there's some swords over here. As the first whites to re-enter Sarawak were dropped in by parachute. It's 
one way to get into the country. British passport. Duncan Stewart. Enormous book. Wow, Proclamation of Malaysia and the Independence of Sarawak. The Formation of Malaysia. Some firearms. floor, up to the fifth floor. Huh. Quite a big empty space over here. Maybe sometimes they set things up or it's just, you know, to enjoy this, this design. Okay, so this is uh, Objects of Desire, I believe, is this gallery? the most bright area yet quite lit up objects of desire ooh la la similar to another design that we saw Shell beads belt. It's a wild belt. Different beads. Loose beads that you would use to make stuff like this. Pepper. <laughs> Black pepper. For. Hornbill Ivory. Stuff more like necklaces, pots, um, ceramics, vases. This is cool. Well, this one is quite. Uh, detailed this one too both of these wow this is the most um, educational historical 
video ever on my channel that you will ever see. <laughs> This is actually bridal attire. Some wedding, uh, wedding clothes. Yeah, the level of craftsmanship is very high on a lot of this stuff. Oh, look at these texts, look at these patterns. This one, very cool. A lot of baskets, a lot of, a lot of woven stuff. Feels like it would be therapeutic, like sewing, you know? leaves a little bit of a glare right there <laughs> deadly weapons spinning wheel used to spin cotton into threads Ebon textiles, motifs, again, extremely detailed. This is Pretty cool here, I gotta say. Again, the glare is a little bit, it's a little bit much. I can, I can see in the camera. <laughs> of textiles. Yeah, extremely detailed, very detailed. Red winding tool. Oh, this is like some heavy duty equipment here. Oh my god. Look at this. Heavy duty. It's a weaving loom. Embroidery frame.
be ritual. Powerful designs. The lighting in here is really cool. Ooh. Kion mask. <laughs> well, that's trippy. River hook. <clears throat> These are so cool. These are some of the coolest things in this whole museum for me. These are awesome. Power of protection. Wooden idols. <coughs> War canoe head. These are more fishing charms. Saw some earlier too. Some very uh, small carvings, some very fine carvings going on here. Weaponry. I feel like 90% of the stuff you've seen here could be used as a weapon. <laughs> Wow, the detail on this is really high. Oh my God. The camera doesn't really do it justice with the lighting, but it's very detailed. The dog motif. Dog motif looks like lizards. Oh, I see. That's so cool. Very cool, very cool. Status. Social hierarchy. It's a tattoo block. It's a tattoo block. It's a motif.
tattoo case, tattoo pricker, tattoo tools. Hmm. Some traditional tattooing tools. More wedding, wedding attire. It's like women's uh, jewelry. Borneo is famous for its unique tattooing traditions. Hmm. Tattoos can be decorative, but usually carry meaning, signify hierarchy, bravery, personal accomplishments. Unlike any of my tattoos, which are strictly decorative, um, certain tattoos were for particular parts of the body. Tad it up. <laughs> It's a nice belt. Ooh, what is this stuff? Wow. It's a crazy looking gong. Made of brass, brass container. Whoa, hairpin, crown, comb. That's very cool. Cannons? different cannons. Nice. I was right. <laughs> In my head I was like, I don't really know, but uh, they look like cannons. I think that may be the last gallery here. Welcome. I think that was it. Yeah, that was really worth it. That was really cool. One of the best 50 ringgit, I think, like, value-wise that I've gotten of anything I spend money on here. So, highly recommend it. If you are in Sarawak, if you come to Kuching, come to this place. Very worth it. I mean, I'm not, like, a huge history buff. Um, I do like museums. I do like seeing, like, artifacts and cool designs, stuff like that. So, yeah, it is up my alley a bit, but... You know, I'm not like a diehard history guy, but like still really, really well worth it. Um, even just the building is like so cool in itself. Yeah, definitely should be on your list of things to do when you come here. And again, there's a like a nice little restaurant here. Coffee shop, restaurant. Ah, nice. Still got some great weather. Very good. This is a long one, so I'm going to make this its own vlog and I'm going to continue on and I'm going to record a bit more for um, the next vlog. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, drop a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed and I will see you in the next video.